Okay, so we're having a look at um, solid edge and solid and NX interoperability. I'm also going to be bringing in parts from SolidWorks here. So here we can see we're in SolidWorks on here. Uh, we've got our components. These are actually SolidWorks models. So if I go into this model and expand this, we can see that we've got the full history. We've got a sheet metal component with a flange, extrude, cuts, all the features. So th these have actually been modeled within SolidWorks itself. So I'm just going to close out this assembly. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump into Solid Edge. So within Solid Edge, uh, we're just going to open the SolidWorks model straight in. The SolidWorks model, uh, SolidWorks uses the same underlying um, parasolid um, kernel, which is the underlying software, as SolidWorks. So it allows us to convert those files in very easily. So we can choose this demo set that we're looking at. We can open that, open this within Solid Edge. We can click Open, OK, and then we'll just wait for that to convert into Solid Edge. OK, now that's open in Solid Edge. We've got all of our parts. So first thing I want to do here, I'm just going to save this. Make sure we've got this saved in the correct location for where we're working. So I'm just going to shape, save this in my sheet metal folder. And I'm just going to create a automatic part number for that one for me. So now we've got these parts. Um, some of these parts, um, these are just parts that have been imported. So when we bring this part in here, uh, we've, got, we've got little tools within Solid Edge to allow us to make these parts um, work better within Solid Edge, and we've also got tools to convert them into sheet metal. So a very simple way to go and convert that. That has now turned that. We can see we've now got a tab and two flanges. We could go and change the thickness on this if we needed to. So the next thing I want to do, um, on, the, on the version that we got, we actually needed some additional clearance. So because this is coming as synchronous, we can easily go in, select a face, and it's going to keep the tangency on those rounds on there. I'm then going to save and come back out of that assembly and just make sure that that assembly is ready. So now we've got that, that assembly ready to go into our higher level. Our higher level is going to be done within NX. So if we go into NX, I've already got a, a file open on here. So within assemblies, I'm going to um, add this component to this. So when I'm choosing my component, I'm going to make sure that I've got this set to solid edge files. Because we've got this interoperability, it's going to reckon it's going to recognize these solid edge files. So we've got this file that we've just saved. You'll see the timestamp matches on that. And we're OK on there. And let's just wait for that to open up. And we've got that succeeded. And it's bought those parts. And I'm just going to click um, Select Object and just click pretty much in the center on there. We could go and add assembly relationships if we needed to, but we're not interested in that in this instance. So here we've got our assembly. So we're going to have a look at is this interoperability. So now we've got that. Um, what what we forgot to do was check that actually these holes are the um, are the correct are the correct um, distance apart. So from here, I'm just going to um, just going to do a measurement and double check. These need to be 40 mil. So if I click those two, we can see it's 38.1. We don't want that that size. We want that to be 40. So we can jump back into Solid Edge and go and make that change within Solid Edge. So if I edit edit into this part in Solid Edge, and I'm just going to um, just going to drive this with a very simple dimension on there, and then this change will then be saved. So I'm just going to jump that up to 40. All the holes move together because of synchronous technology within that. Save and close and make sure that top level is saved. And then we're going to update that back within Solid Edge. We're using this on OneDrive so we can see OneDrive updating on there. So we know OneDrive is now up to date on there. So within this part, we can go and find this model. So this is the model we're going to work on. I want to choose properties on there. And here we've got our interoperability and we've got update option. So that's going to update and change that. We've got our succeed again on there and that has now changed. So let's do that same measurement we did before. So if we click on there, do the same type of measurement between those two top points on there, we've now got our 40 mil. That's updated from that file that we've just done on there. So next what we're going to do, we're going to make a um we're going to make some more changes just, just so we can see that again. I'm also going to use a um our face pairs to create a, a mid-surface for doing simulation on sheet metal. So this is the part that we're interested in. So we're going to work on this part independently on here. And I'm going to choose this command. Um, we're going to create some face pairs on there and apply. So we've now got that part with the with the face pairs. Uh, so if I go into a modeling, we can go and turn that off and turn that back on, and we can see that we've got those face pairs on there. So if I now go, if I if I now go back to my model, um, currently it's just showing the face on those. So what I'm going to do on the, uh, on those is just make sure we've got those showing on there. 
But what we're going to do now on this, so this actually we need more air clearance behind this. So we're going to, again, we're going to go into solid edge this time. I'm going to go and make a, a synchronous change. These are the same parts, so we need to change that one part. Solid has got some really cool little tools that allows us to go and make these changes quickly. So I'm just going to drag that down, 25 mil. Um, maybe 25 mil, not 250. So let's just do let's just do that one again. And I'm just going to click OK and cancel on that. So now we've done that change, I'm going to do a, a save on there. I'm not going to convert that cheat mail, we're going to leave that as that is on there. Um, but we, we could do the same as what we did on that first one on those components. So we're going to go back into NX. Again, we're going to go back to that same that same step on there. And we're going to update that from the, from the solid edge file. So what I want to do on that, I'm just going to drag this over and just make sure we can see this clearly. So when we do this update, we're going to see these change. So we clearly see those legs jump down on there. So now we've got that and we can go back into that file. We can see that that has now updated and changed. And that also means that our, our mid surface feature has changed with that. So we can keep doing that and work on there. So we can have multiple people using solid edge and then we can bring those parts within, within NX and drag those into our larger master assembly that we can use within NX on that component using that interoperability tool. Thank you.